Good morning, gang, or good evening, or good uh, afternoon, or whatever. This is um, uh, Tuesday's lesson. Uh, st uh, students struggled on Monday uh, with this lesson, so we just doubled it up and did another lesson. So this is solving compound inequalities, and this is part two. All right, uh, and then so solve each and then graph your solution. So uh, you saw part one, uh, either in class or, or here. Okay, so here's number one. Uh, tan is less than or equal to 2y plus 4, less than or equal to 24. Okay, on this one, this is an and statement. Typically, and statements, watch my cursor. And statements are two numbers, a number over here and a number over here, and shaded in between the two. Okay, so when the letter's written in the middle like this, this is an and statement. We'll get some ors in just a second. Or statements, they'll go in opposite directions that way, and then the other ones over here on this side go in that way. Not always, but most of the time. So this one's going to be an and statement. So you'll see all my work on this next part right here. The first thing I did was uh, I subtracted 4 from everything. So we had to get rid of that 4. And then so when I subtracted 4, I'm left with this blue stuff. So 6 less than or equal to 2y less than or equal to 20. And then I divided by this 2 right here. So I, when I divided by 2, I get 1y and 6 divided by 2 and 10 divided by or 20 divided by 2. And these are both closed circles. And to save time, you can just put a number line up or uh, 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 this on top, okay? All right, so here's number two. Uh, this is another and statement, and watch out for this negative in front of the variable right here. It's going to flip that inequalities. But before we do anything, we've got to get rid of that negative one. Remember, we, we do order of operations backwards on these things. So we do all this addition and subtraction first. So I'm going to add one to everything first. So plus one, plus one, plus one. That's this blue right here. And then uh, negative 7 plus 1 is negative 6. Be careful. There's still a negative in front of that Z. And 3 plus 1 is 4. And remember, when you divide by negative, it automatically flips the inequalities to the other direction. And then, then here, a negative divided by negative is a positive, And a positive divided by negative is a negative. And we always like to have the smaller number on the left. And negative 4 is smaller than 6. So I flip them around. And when you flip them around, it flips these inequalities back around. Okay, so open circle, open circle, and there we go, shaded in between the two. All right? Okay, I did this in class, so I didn't have it typed up. Okay, here's another and statement real quick, you guys. So we're going to get rid of that 3. So uh, negative 5 plus 3 is negative 2, and then uh, 2 plus 3 is 5. And then when you divide by negative, it flips those inequalities the other direction. And then uh, since negative 5 is smaller than 2, we flipped it around, which flips these inequalities back around. Close circle, close circle, and you get that guy. Okay, here's an or statement. Okay, or statements are it, most of the time, not always, but most of the time, two numbers here going that way to the left, and then the other one's over here on the right, and it's going that way to the right. And it depends on if it's uh, there's a bar, if it's open. These guys are both open right here or if it's closed with an equals bar. Okay, so here we're going to solve them separately. I'm going to go minus 1, minus 1, and here I'm going to go plus 5, plus 5, and then take off from there. All right, so here we go. So 3h, the 1's cancel. Negative 5 plus 1 is negative 6. And then over here, 7 plus 5 is 12. Here I divide by 3. Okay, I'm dividing by positive 3, so it won't flip the inequality. Um, it only flips when I divide by a negative 3. So h is less than negative 2, open circle, going to the left, because the inequality tells me which way to shade. It's telling me to go, it's pointing towards the left. And over here, uh, h is greater than 6. So you got you have to write that or in there on or statement. So this is my algebra answer right here, and this is my graph answer right here. Okay, uh, let's try another here. Okay, another or statement. Uh, here I'm going to subtract 1 and subtract 1. Here I'm going to go plus 3 and plus 3. And then, uh, and then here we go. So 4c, the 1's cancel, and you get negative 4. And when we divide by 4, this 4 right here, this blue 4 right here, when I divide by 4, I get negative 1. Remember, I divided by a positive 4, so it doesn't flip the inequality. It only flips when it's negative. And over here, I divided by 5, and so closed on this one to the left, open on that one, and to the right. 